Speaker of the Texas State House, Dennis Bonin, was accused by the head of Empower Texans, a right-wing activist organization, Michael Quinn Sullivan, of saying horrible things about many of his compatriots in the Republican caucus and offering press credentials in exchange for Mr. Sullivan targeting 10 specific moderate Republicans. When Michael Quinn Sullivan came out and said this initially, Speaker Bond had denied that it happened. Then a tape appeared. A tape that hasn't been released to the public, but a tape that apparently has him and his Lieutenant Burroughs, Dustin Burroughs from, I think, Lubbock, specifically negotiating for the exchange of a benefit, press credentials, for targeting other Republicans. I think it's disgusting. I think it's offensive. I think it should be the end of Speaker Bonin's period in public office. When you lie to people and then you get caught, when you target people and promise them something in exchange, that sounds criminal to me. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I absolutely believe it is criminal. And I believe that a criminal investigation should be opened into that because this was a conspiracy like you don't like to believe in to target these Republicans who they did not like. Right. And these are Republicans attacking Republicans. These are Republicans conspiring to bring down other public Republicans in their own party. I've said time and time again on this show, both parties has corruption in it. There's a swamp with gators and snakes and parasites in both parties, and the swamp needs to be cleansed. I am telling you, man, the American people must take their country back because we are being used, exploited, and manipulated for our votes for criminals, crooks, who are doing things in power in our name that we don't even know anything about. You know who you sound we know just about like? It, we need to remove you know, if You sound just like Donald Trump during his first presidential campaign, well, the victory campaign. It was an argument that the Beltway, the inner circle of politics has become a cabal on both sides that is completely disinterested in us as the American people and only serving themselves. Now, I'm not saying that Trump meant it when he said it. No, it's exactly not. what he said. And, and how do we fix it? How do we get past this two-party system? How do we tear it down? How do we get our elected officials to start working for us again, Quanell? But on either side of the aisle. But the problem with Donald Trump, he promised to drain the swamp. But when he looked in the swamp, he saw a whole lot of his friends family members okay. and elements so of we, himself we fix in the Juana? swamp. Juana, how do and we the fix biggest it? snake in the swamp okay. is sitting well, in the White House. Here. We, have, we have Republican snakes in Austin. Let me Dennis tell you. Bonin is a snake. Let me tell you how you fix it. The American people got to take back their country. And how do we do it? Got to come together and stop being divided based on politicians. But you're always dividing no, us. No, I said Let's politicians. stop being divided to black, white, brown, whatever. Let's now, come Charles, together and work Charles, for the middle class, hardworking, participatory Americans. All you do Charles, is divide us. I dare you say to a black man, stop dividing when you That's white all people divided black people uh, from the beginning. Look, you see, you're, fact, you're speaking your about perfect. white people made, holistically. It made white I'm folks talking about two individuals, of me black and people. you. I want to bring people together. You want to pull them apart. Let's get on the same page. So you want me to fatten frogs for snakes? No. I, wanna, uh -huh. I want us to be unified and not have beat. <laughs>